Hey guys, this is Aaron with Joe's Game Electronics, and today I'll be replacing the keys on a MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, this specific model is a A2159. Um, I'll, first, I'll be showing you how to just simply remove the key, and then second, I'm gonna show you actually how to replace the whole button and this uh, the little holder for the key. So first things first, you're gonna want a little pry tool just like this, something nice, nice and thin and make sure it has a little sharp edge on the end. And then you're gonna want to get behind the key. And so you're gonna, as you can see, just behind the key on the top side of it, you're gonna wanna get the pry tool in and just slowly pry up sideways. And once one side's up, you hop on the other and slowly pry up. And now the key is freed on top. You're just gonna wanna wiggle it out There you go, I removed the key. And then I'll show you guys here on this close-up camera. You can kind of see the how the key is created and why you have to take it apart the way I just did. This one here has a little bit of a U-shape. Let me move my finger there. It's a little bit of a U-shape and it kind of clips in, hugs in. And this just a regular clip. So this clips on top and this slides in. So Next, I'll actually install this real quick and I'll show you how to install it. You always want to install on the bottom first. Just sit it down kind of at a upwards angle like that and then clips in and functions just like regular. So now let's remove the key again and I will show you how to replace the button underneath the key. You'd be doing this for reasons of like cleaning or if you need to replace your button because you uh, tapped it too much and it stopped working. So to do this, you're gonna to wanna to get on the back side. You're gonna to wanna to get right in here on the key. So I'll show you how, to work, how I do that here. Just wanna pry up behind the key. You'll feel it kind of slip in. Just be careful. Don't pry too hard. And I'm using just a really small flat head here. But once you get it up, It'll just slowly peel up. And once you get one side up, just slowly, carefully do it the other way. And it came off. Make sure you hold it so it doesn't do what it just did. But this is your actual button piece that I just took off. And then you're gonna wanna also Remove this clipper in case you break one of these edges here, one of these pieces. In case you break one of those, you're gonna wanna do this. Just get underneath it, slowly get around that rubber piece there. You take that out. And as you can see, there's these little teeth that come off the edges here. Those you don't wanna break. And if you're replacing these and you accidentally break it, you can get replacements of these and then just reinstall it the way I'm gonna show right now. So there's a little rubber piece around the outside here. You're gonna wanna hold it to the side and just slip in on one side at least. And then I'll use the other side of this. Slip in one side and then you can go ahead and just pry up on this rubber a little bit. Just make sure you're being careful not to rip the rubber. There you go. Now that that's installed, you're gonna wanna grab this piece that you took off, the key. You're gonna wanna do the same thing, just get around that rubber there. So once it's inside of there, you're gonna wanna just align the, all these pieces here. And it should be fairly easy to align. If you're forcing it, there's something wrong. So just carefully install, make sure it's pushed down, clip it. And now you're gonna grab your key, just like I installed previously. You're gonna drop it on the bottom piece, clip it in, and it functions just like the rest of the keys. And that is how you replace the keys and the button on a MacBook Pro. If you have any questions, 
feel free to leave it in the comments and we'll try to reply to that. All the parts and tools used in this video will be available on the website, www.joeg.com or link below. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.